know, that's the red to play if you're five nil up. But when you've been frozen out like it has, pop the red to the middle, play the blue, come back down for the reds, and get your, you get your arm going. Yeah, and I think it's worth saying as well that anyone just tuning in today what wasn't watching yesterday, he beat Ali Carter yesterday, so he's no mug, this young man. You know, to beat Carter 6-3 is a great win. But uh, although he's had quite a few chances, it's got to be said, in this match, it's just nothing's happened for him. The question is, has he played his last shot now? Well, he could very well have been, with all the breaks that he's been knocking in. Now Sullivan, that one three six in the last frame, has really got his eye in. And if you look where the cue ball is each time, he's absolutely perfect. Not straight on the blue, not too high, just where he wants to be. Sullivan Carter, last time they played was at the Crucible. It was rather tasty, you might recall. 2018, there was a little shoulder barge at one point. match of the season. Yeah, well, knowing Ronnie O'Sullivan, as we do, he'd have been disappointed that he didn't make this from an, un, an unattached chance, if you like. He, he got it from his opponent missing a ball to the right corner. And he'll be thinking to himself, well, if that red had gone in, this could very well have been his. He likes to get in straight away without his opponent having a chance. And that way, it's not down to anybody else, just himself. But he should be delighted. The way he's attacked the game and scored in this game. Yeah, that's the thing. Every time he's been handed a chance, he's taken it. Well, still on the red to the right corner. And one to the ball corner. What so he fear the worst now, Zhang Yi. Yes, if he wins here, the total playing time in the match won't be much more than an hour. Five. Zhang did have a chance there, you know. On another day, he clears up. Suddenly, yep. Sullivan's thinking, well, I've got to be on my game today. But he was sort of let off, and then a few other chances went begging as well from Zhang. And this man is the best front runner in the, in the business. If he gets in front of a player, he usually just runs away from them. 56. the best front runner in the game. <laughs> the running actually does. So closing in, a couple of balls needed here. Yeah, and in no time at all, it's black for the match. This is the sort of level that 
Chang Yi and Amit the wildcard will aspire to. It's been a bit of a lesson today for him. Seventy-two. The cue ball's close to the middle. Wouldn't dare go in. <laughs> Used in the middle pocket bump for perfect position again. Just when he played. So, is it going to be back-to-back -back centuries to complete a, a short evening's work? Seven for seven. Seven for eight. His 28th season as a professional. Still the most fascinating character in snooker. And still playing some great stuff. Make no mistake, he's got many years left if he keeps this up. 86. Three. Something about Shanghai that agrees with Ronnie O'Sullivan. He's won each of the last two stagings of this tournament. And what a start as he looks for a hat trick. This red to finish with back to back centuries. Superb. Absolutely. Absolutely. Look at the crowd there. Absolutely love it. Well, he's won two frames here in the absolute blink of an eye, hasn't he? Just stepped in, killed them off without any fuss. But with just brilliant five. positional play, potting. I and I think it. today as well, just control of himself. He's come here, I think, with good attitude. Zhang Yi was smiling at the start. I'm sure that in some way he's enjoyed the experience of just being out there. But he'll look back at chances. He did have chances. Didn't take them. Right now, 14. <laughs> On a piece of string. Right well, he's not world champion, and he's not world number one, but he's still Ronnie O'Sullivan. He's still an absolute genius in this sport. As he's proved there in the last two frames, back-to-back -back total clearances of 136 and 132. Zhang Yi did have chances, but just could not take them. And Ronnie O'Sullivan just seemed to grow in confidence. And look at the clamour there for autographs and pictures. He could be there a while, I think.